Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I want to do an updated review on Radical Firearms AR-15. I've done previous reviews on Radical Firearms uh, AR before, but uh, today I have some excellent information to report to you guys, so I thought it was about time to do an updated review. So, at 100 yards with this uh, AR right here, we've got a one inch group there you go three shots right there one inch apart okay uh, now you can see the winds blowing to the right a little bit okay so we got about 10 miles per hour to the right and then it moved our bullet over to the right about one inch as expected okay um ammunition i was using uh, cheap ass target ammo <laughs> uh Whatever that says, I can't even pronounce their name. Herters, I don't know, I have no idea how they pronounce this thing. But uh, target 223, uh, 100 yards. Uh, and what I was using, okay, I've got the um, Holosun uh, 503G ACSS, okay? So that has the ACSS reticle, right? And then behind it, um, I just got in the, the Vortex uh, 6X magnifier. Right, I was just testing that out today. That's why I pulled out this gun over here. Um, and I wanted to use the, specifically use this optic because I thought it would match up great with the 6X magnifier because of the uh, ACSS uh, reticle that has that, that fine tip. Because um, here's the thing, if you're just using a 2M weight dot and you put a 6X magnifier on it, well, now that, that 2M weight dot is going to be uh, multiplied by 6. All right, so now you get a 12 MOA dot. So with the ACSS, because it has that fine tip uh, that goes under the uh, the target, right? So that goes underneath the bullseye. So instead of having like a big a big 12 MOA thing that goes on top of this, and you can't see your you know you can't see your bullseye, the ACSS goes to the bottom of it right here. So you can see. So regardless how big. Uh, you know how how much you magnify it. The, the tip of the arrow is the tip of the arrow, so that goes right to the bottom, and then you can clearly see your um, you can clearly see your bullseye, and then you can take well aimed shots. Okay, so again, uh, with this radical AR, we've got one inch at a hundred yards, so it's a one MOA rifle, okay, um, which I think is awesome on an economy AR, right? Because that's what this is. This is an economy AR. Uh, I have bought many radicals. I think I'm up to like five now. Um, so uh, it might, might be six. I lost track. I got so many. <laughs> um, but um, uh, the first one I bought was during the Obama years. And that was $500. Okay. Uh, it had a very basic rail on it, right? Uh, it had a, you know, this one's a little bit more fancy, but that had a basic rail on it. And, um, uh, you know, here's the thing this one right now, I, I went on their website to see. How much it is because you just go on their website you order it you have it shipped straight to your ffl uh it's it's coming in at about 700 dollars. if you factor in inflation which has been pretty pretty crazy uh that's still a 500 dollar rifle if you put it in terms of like 2016 you know i think i bought this in i think i bought it in like 2015 i think i bought so if you put this in terms of 2015 money that's probably less than 500 dollars when they're selling it at 700 dollars today right um, but at seven hundred dollars, I mean, at one MOA, I think this thing kicks ass. Okay, um, so like I said, I matched it up with the House on five hundred three uh, G ACSS radical and the Vortex six X magnifier, which I'm testing out today. Uh, that was really what I was intending to do today. I was intending to do a video review on this, or not, not uh, do an initial impressions review on this Vortex magnifier, but that one inch grouping kind of blew me out of the water so much i'm like you know what we're talking about radical today <laughs> um so um i've got as you can see here i've got a bipod mounted on here now this is a um uh you know it's, it's mounted to a three slot 15 rail this is a 15 uh inch rail so we got a 16 inch barrel with a 15 inch rail um I've, here's another one that i got right here basically the same thing the only difference between this radical and that one is this has the 12 inch rail which comes a little bit short which i personally like a lot better okay because i still got enough rail space 
to get my hand all the way out and drive the gun, right? Um, and then I don't have the extra weight of the rail up here because I've got plenty of space here um, if I if I want to put anything on here, okay? So i got the three-slot rail there, which I like a lot better than putting a hand stop or, or, or a vertical grip or anything like that because hey, if I want to rest this on the table, it's not on the way. I can, I can grab this. Uh, I can put a, a mount a bipod on this. So I find this three-slot rail uh, in that position right there very, very useful. Uh, it can do multiple things, you know, m mostly functioning as a hand stop, right? So, or an anchoring point. It's not even called a hand stop. It's called an anchoring point. So I'm always getting that same grip. Uh, but then it can double up as a as a bipod mount, right? You, can, uh, you know, like, like I have it on that one over there. Uh, now, as far as a light, I have another one, which is a dedicated night shooter. On that one, I have a rifle light mounted on the side with a pressure pad. That, okay, it adds a lot of weight to the gun, right? Having a, have, you know, having a full-size rifle light. Um, and, you know, once you put the pressure pad on there, you guys zip tie it on. So it's pretty much going to stay on the rifle. On um, these guys over here, which I may, I occasionally shoot at night. What I find to be the better option is I'll just use this uh, Streamlight TLR1, which is also a thousand looms, right? So it's, it's pretty much the same power as a rifle light. It just spreads a little bit different. And it goes on easy. You clamp it down. And there you go. Now I got a rifle light on the gun. I can work that lefty or righty without pressure pads. So that is a great option. If, when I look through here, this looks just like a, a front sight post. So it doesn't, it's really not that much in my way having it there. And, and basically, when I don't want it there, I just, I just take it off. It, you know. So that's, that's one of the nice things I like about this. Um, for a long time, I had rear, rear sight, back, you, know, uh, you know, backup flip out sights on this. Uh, on the one hand, I have found that the hollow suns are really um, reliable the solar power with a battery backup uh, on the other hand i prefer to use this space over here uh for the magnet side. Uh, another one out? I another one out, but, um like like you know like i'd rather put a magnifier on here in the back i find that that's a a, a, a much more useful uh use of the space actually let me go with the other magnifier on i want to show you a quick comparison between these two magnifiers as far as size let me pause this so yeah, so lately I've taken to not putting on the backup sights to these guns because I find that these, it's a lot more useful for me to just be able to throw this magnifier on. Oh, it's not locked. Throw the magnifier on. Nice thing about the magnifier, it goes on and off really easy. You don't have to re-zero, you know, you don't have to zero this or anything. You just put it on, you shoot the gun. If you don't want it, you flip it to the side. Or if you want to go lighter, you know, you just basically just completely remove it. Um, so I, I guess that's the reason why I've got one, uh, variable scope. It's a primary arms one to eight, right? Uh, it's, that's on a, a dedicated, uh, a distance shooting rifle, right? That's an eight, 18 inch barrel. Um, so I only got one of those. Everything else is a red dot. Uh, now, and I, and here's the thing, these magnifiers, they can just go from one to the other, right? So I have a whole bunch of magnifiers. I just, you know, well, you don't need one for every rifle. You just put it on whenever you need it, basically, okay? Um, well, you can see uh, this, you, know, you can see how the 3X is uh, a little bit smaller than the 6X, but here's the thing, um, I mean, the, the 6X is a little bit bigger, but it's only by a small percentage bigger. So 6X um, is, is really economical in terms of weight and size uh, compared to the 3X. Uh, the, the price is double. This is, Two hundred dollars. That's four hundred dollars. I mean, with the discount, with the Optics Planet discount, I think I got that one for uh, th uh, three sixty. Um, but but for that extra magnification, right? For the for doubling your magnification from three X to six X, you're not paying a whole lot in terms of size uh, and weight. Okay. Um, by the way, what I was going to talk about was the rails. This one over here has the uh, fifteen inch rails, um, and what I have found is that I prefer. I prefer the um, the 12 inch rail um, because you you got the you know basically it's a little lighter up front uh, you know my arm is as far out as I can reach for my arm length okay uh, so the gun's a little bit lighter so um, you know and I didn't know until I bought that one okay um, but that's you know but but uh, having tried these two rails out side by side 
I definitely recommend, unless you've got really long arms, unless you're like, you know, 6'4", 6'6", or something, uh, most people are going to be quite happy with the 12-inch rail as opposed to going with the 15-inch rail. You know, same barrel length, 16 inches, okay? Um, both of these guns are identical other than the, the, the handguard, basically. So, um, so uh, like I said earlier, I have a number of Radical firearms. Uh, one of the things I like about Radical is they have a lifetime warranty. Uh, this one over here is actually a, a, a replacement on warranty. Okay, the first one that I bought back in 2015, uh, I completely shot out the barrel. Okay, the, the bullets were going in. You know, it, it took 22,000 rounds, right? I did, a, I did a video review on that. Just, just uh, search Radical Firearms, 22,000 rounds. You know, it should, it should come up. But at, at 22,000 rounds, I shot out the barrel. Uh, the bullets were just going in sideways at, at 30 yards, right? So. Um, I sent them an email, said rifling shot out, they said send us in the rifle, uh, and they, they actually sent me a whole new rifle, with the exception being the receiver, which, you know, the lower receiver, which has the serial number. Uh, every other part on the gun that they sent back uh, was brand new, uh, and I'm, I am very grateful to them for that. They, I think they did excellent on that, on their warranty. Now, along the way, on the way to 22,000 rounds, I also went through tri three trigger groups, and I also think uh, I, I, I went through three uh, bolts. Now, when the, with the bolt, the part that broke was usually the extractor or the gas rings. Uh, but what happened is when I would call them up, uh, usually, you know, they would just change out the whole bolt carrier, right? So they, they, they were great with that. Um, um, they, they were great. You know, same thing with the trigger groups, right? When the disconnector broke or something, they just sent me out a whole new trigger group. I would send them an email, and they would send it out to me. So um, I, do, I did a separate video uh, talking about their warranty policy, which, and, and, and here's the thing, they, at the time, they didn't know I was doing videos on them or anything like that. Uh, they, they, at this point, they know who I am. However, when they sent me this rifle, you know, I just, I just placed the order online. They, they didn't know that it was coming to me to do a review or anything like that. So, uh, this is just what their rifles do, right? We got this one over here with that setup, one inch at a hundred yards. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to, this, to taking this out to a 600-yard range uh, and, and, and testing that out and seeing how it does there. So that's part of the reason why uh, uh, I, I had, you know, I, I got this Vortex. Uh, I have uh, plans to get to uh, get out to actually a 1,000-yard range um, and do some testing, and uh, um, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to be doing some videos on that. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to get out there, but I will be getting out there. Um, so uh, there it is. I think for, for the seven hundred dollars that they're charging right now, I think this is a great economy rifle that gets you one inch. It can get you. You know, obviously you gotta be. You know, you gotta be up to the task. Also, the uh, you know the optics makes a big difference, right? Uh, because like this one over here, when I shoot this with the um, with the um, uh, the five ten C, which has that two M weight dot, and I put the three X magnifier on it, the best I can get with this is is two inches. Um, at 100 yards, right? Two inches, but that's because the dot is completely covering the bullseye, right? So when I put the dot on top of the bullseye, it just, it just you know, with the 3X magnifier, it just blows it up and it just completely covers it. Um, so the two M-way dot is gonna cover that at, at 100 yards. However, with the, AC, with the ACSS, it goes underneath it, so I can clearly see my, my bullseye uh, and, you know, and, and, and be more consistent with where I'm putting my dot. So, so having that type of an optic will make the difference. Now, even when I was shooting this with a, with a two M weight dot, occasionally I would see like I would see like one inch clusters, and then you know. So I had a feeling that these guns were capable of one inch at a hundred yards, but until I matched up this Vortex six X magnifier to this Hollow Sun uh, 503G uh, with the ACSS, until I match this thing up i really wasn't able to fully uh test this gun out and see what it can do uh and it, it, it's doing it man i mean look at that i mean I am, i'm saying it's over and over again because i am that impressed you know uh i am very impressed with one inch one inch at uh um at 100 yards and here's the thing uh, it's not like uh it's a one shot Ooh, i did this a couple of times now today is very windy if you look at the wind ribbons they're, they're so initially uh this blue this blue bullseye was like down here so i just started putting a whole bunch of shots down range to kind of see where my zero was um and uh i saw i had one flyer here 
one fly here, and then I see like an inch and a quarter cluster here. I was shooting a little bit low, so then I moved my bullseye up a little bit, and then I adjusted my uh, uh, my zero, okay? Um, and then I, you know, and then I got this group over here, which is a total of two and a half inches. But, but basically, if you discount that one flyer there, okay, I've got a cluster of one and a quarter inches over here, right? So this this, this four shot cluster over here is one and a quarter inches. Um, so again, this is at the point where I'm just kind of just checking, you know, trying to get my zero right. So I, once I, I saw that I was hitting up here, I knew I just had to go two clicks down. Um, so then when I made that adjustment, two clicks down, I was like really a, lot, a bit more careful trying to, uh, you know, you know, try not to make sure, basically I was watching my, my trigger squeeze a little bit more. Uh, and that's when I got the one inch, one inch group here. The wind was blowing to the right a little bit. It was blowing like the rivers today are blowing about 10 miles an hour to the right, which basically moved my group one inch to the right, which is exactly what I would expect it to do. Uh, but yeah, it's there one inch at a hundred yards. Um, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I mean, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys, uh, for, for an economy rifle, um, you know, hitting one inch at a hundred yards, uh, yeah, you have to sit there and you want, and wonder what, what the, what are people paying like two, three, two thousand dollars for an A on an AR for, uh, I, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking the question. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe there is a benefit. I don't know. I don't have any $2,000 AR, so I can't really compare, uh, but I mean, this is this is very good. I'm, I'm very happy with this. So a, a shout out to Radical Firearms, uh, and uh, they, they 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 by now they know who I am. Okay, um, I've done enough video reviews on them. Um, I have uh, you know because basically I'm a gun breaker, right? I do enough round counts where I wear out the guns, and I'm constantly going back to them for a lifetime warranty. Uh, you know, because they have the company has a lifetime uh, warranty policy, so. I don't know if they love me or hate me, right? I don't know if they love me for, you know, you know, testing their equipment out and doing honest reviews, or they hate me, you know, for, for, for constantly breaking their guns and, and going back and asking for warranty repairs. But uh, here's the thing, these are machines, ARs are designed to be light guns, right? They're not, you know, like the, the, the triggers on ARs are, are rated for 5,000 rounds, okay? That's what they are, okay? Now, usually I'll get closer to 10,000 rounds, uh, but basically, if you're going, if your life's really going to depend on it, every 5,000 rounds, I would change the trigger. Uh, every 5,000 rounds, I would probably change out the bolt. Um, but since my life doesn't depend on it, I pretty much keep shooting these guns until the part actually breaks. Okay, so so usually with the triggers, I'll get closer to 10,000 rounds. Uh, with the uh, with the bolt, same thing, you know, by 10,000 rounds. So on the on that AR that I completely shot out at. 22,000 rounds. Uh, I went uh, through three trigger groups uh, and I went through three bolt carriers. Okay, uh, it, it, I mean, it was just a bolt that broke, but they just, they just, at that point, they just changed out the whole carrier uh, because of the wearing that's going back and forth. They figured that it was, it just made more sense to just change out the whole carrier uh, rather than, uh, um, you know, take a chance that maybe they, they send me a bolt and, it, and, and the carrier's not worn out. So they just changed out the whole bolt for me. Um, now, in in in, for, in most cases, when I wear out parts, I just send them an email with, with a picture of the serial number, show them a, a picture of the serial number and a picture of the part that's broken, uh, and based on that, they'll send me the replacement parts. Um, now, over periods of times, you know, sometimes they get, you know, like any company, they'll they'll get new people working there. Uh, and I've experienced where, you know, I sent down an email and I just wasn't getting the attention that I thought I should be getting. Not as anybody special, just as a regular customer. Uh, and I raised a little bit of hell, uh, but sure enough, uh, you know, they, they uh, you know, they, they, they took care of me. They got the parts that, uh, you know, they, they, they replaced the parts that needed to be replaced uh, under their, you know, company policy, right? Because it's not like I'm asking for special treatment, right? It's the company policy. So uh, the cool thing about this is it is available to everybody, right? Uh, they do have a lifetime warranty. That's something I value very much, which is the reason why I bought, like, I think five or six of these things so far, um, you know, because of that lifetime warranty. I, and, and, and I can tell you guys, they do honor it. They, they've been doing it. They've been changing out the parts, so they, they will honor it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope you guys are ecstatic about this group as I am. All right? Look at that. That is beautiful, right? Look at that. One inch at 100 yards. I, I, I'm absolutely loving it.
Drop some comments below. Let me know how you like the video. If you're not a member of the channel, subscribe and hit the bell button so you get new notification and new videos I put up.